The graph of a linear equation is a straight line. Now the equation that we have already talked about is this one. It says y equals 2x plus 4. That, that equation we have used in previous videos. You see, we got the x and y values by doing plot, point plotting method. And if you don't know what point plotting method is, go go back to my previous video. I thought that. And if you put that information in graph, we would have a line, which is a straight line. Now let's talk about the steepness of the line that we mathematically call a slope. Slope of line. Slope of any line is equal to rise over run okay so slope is cal slope is what we cal we need to calculate to find the steepness of the straight line or any line okay so we ca we calculate slope by use by using this formula the uh, slope equals rise over run okay so let's do rise over run here for this equation and let's find the slope out okay so we move one two three four four is the rise for rise we have four and for run we have one two 2, 4 divided by 2 is 2. The slope of the line is 2. Now let's talk about uh, slope if we have changed in steepness of the line close to y-axis then higher than the slope. Okay, I know this is confusing right here but let me do my best. Okay, so what would happen is this line let me show you guys an example. If this line was right here, the, let me summarize this. When a straight line is near y-axis but not intersecting it, okay? Not like this. Not near like, I mean near as if this one, near. The, the nearer it is, the higher the slope is, okay? The higher the steepness is, okay? The lower, the far away from the y-axis it is, the less the slope is, okay? And thus we can say that the line uh, going downwards have left to right as lower slope. You see, left to right as lower slope than going this way. So let me just draw a line which has a lower slope. this is a straight line you see okay if this was over here you would take one two right two run and two as a rise two right here two as a rise so two divided by two is one you see this line has high this line is steeper than the black line so, like I told you, now, it would even be negative, okay, let me just draw a line here to show you. Let me use another color, hold on, so it doesn't get all mixed up. Now you can see that the red line is negative, okay? You can tell that the red line over here I'm talking about is negative. Okay, so this red line has slope of, we have one run over here, one run over here, one over one is one. Okay, so this line, though it's negative, it has 
steepness of one unit okay it has steepness of one unit okay now how do you find if a line is negative or positive that's the question that my classmate always and always asks the teacher how do you find if the line is negative or positive okay so let me tell you guys this the straightest way the easiest way that I made it okay the okay so if a line from quadrant 4 goes to quadrant 2 it's always 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 a negative okay 4 to 2 is a negative okay or if it's going from quadrant 2 to quadrant 4 either way it's negative okay we can flip it or 2 to 4 it's still negative okay now from quadrant 1 and quadrant 3 if a line goes from quadrant 3 to quadrant 1 or quadrant 1 to quadrant 3 the line is positive one, two, three, positive. And from three to one, it's still positive. And this is how we determine if the line is um, negative or positive. Now let's talk about a line that has a slope of a zero or undefined slope. Okay, we can put this equation this way. Let me just erase everything that I wrote here. And I hope the equation that I'm going to write in a few seconds, I think you probably have some this type of equation. say y equals 2 we can put this form in y equals mx form which is y equals mx plus b okay y equals 2 y is equal to hold on oh. let me first let me show you first by graphing and then doing on this way because I think this the, if I teach you this right now it would be hard for you to understand okay so if you were to graph this okay and this is y equals 2 okay so right here this is y equals 2 what does y equals 2 mean? well if you substitute any value for x no matter what value of x it is the y is always 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 going to be the value of 2 now let me go back to the equation I was going to write so the y is equal to mx plus b the b is the y intercept which is given in 2 okay and the slope is zero okay no so we just plug in the values for the y intercept which comes out to be two okay so y is equal to and you know this kind of line is called what line vertical line because it's vertical okay so we know that it's a v line v is the vertical line okay and for any x value this is the x value which is on the x axis okay but let's go to m m is slope okay 
and slope of any vertical line is always and always equal to zero. Okay, slope of any vertical line is always, always, always equal to zero. So we can plug in here zero and for any x value. Now let's to consider what I said for any x value, the y value should always be equal to zero. To check this, if I'm correct or wrong, we should always, always make a x and y table, which basically is finding the x and y points. X and y. Let's um, let's ge uh, let's generate some uh, x y values, okay? For x x any number we put over here. So let's take three, two, zero, one. Okay, I think 4 is enough for you guys to understand that for any x value, the y is always equal to 0. So we have 3 here. Any number multiplied by 3, I mean any number multiplied by 0 is always equal to 0. So we have uh, 0 plus 2, which makes it 2. Okay, 2 times 0 is 0, 0 plus 2 is 2. 0 times 0 is 0, 0 plus 2 is 2. 1 times 0 is 0 and 1 plus uh, 0 times 2 plus 0 plus 2 is 2. So you see for any x value on the x axis, for any x value on the x axis, the y is always equal to 2. This is also considered a um, uh, degenerate equation because it's a constant value. y is always equal to 2. So it's always constant. Okay. So suppose we have a cost equation for, let's say, that you were pay, paying a bill. Okay. If you were pay, going to pay, let's say, your television bill, and you know, in America, there's a Cox company which provides you the internet uh, and TV. Okay. So if the Cox internet, I mean the channel says that cost and if they have made that equation like cost of any 35 times x which represents any x value on the x axis plus let's say 4000. Okay, so 35 represents the slope. X, x is any x-intercept on uh, x-axis and this is y-intercept. Okay, now let's interpret, interpret this in couple of ways. Like, cost of x number of item slope can always be interpreted as additional values. Okay, so we can always calculate slope by rise over run. So we know that slope is equal to rise over run okay now rise over run basically means that change because we are I'm going to teach you pre-calculus okay let me just write a symbol which represents change in something okay if you have a change in something you have delta Okay, so let me just show you how it's the delta is derived. Let me erase this. And let's write this in a clean manner. Okay. Let's write this in a clean manner. Since I'm using blue for so long, let's use green. Slope for any line is equal to rise over run as you guys might have known and rise over run is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so all we are trying to find is change in y values and change in x values when you have change in something you have delta in something okay so slope is also is equal to and this is what we use in calculus the symbol of delta. This means 
change in y values and change in x values. So you go to y2 minus y1 and 2, 1, 2, 1 here and here are subscripts. They're the subscripts. Okay. So using this kind of formulas and if you want to put them in your exam or test, well, there is m which represents slope as well. So you can write m is equal to change in y values and change in x values to find the slope. This is just a rather fundamental, easier way to write slope is equal to change in y values over uh, x values or rise over m.